Space Cadet Sully and Cayenne approaching the Seattle Space Needle. Over! Beep, beep. <laughs> beep. Hey, Astrojetas, come in. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> that might be one small step for a go jetter, but I've got some giant funky facts for you. Hit it! Funky facts, funky facts. Let me tell you about the place we're at. With Ubicon, Funky Top Three. Three. The Seattle Space Needle was built to look like a flying saucer, so visitors can enjoy an out of this world view. Two. At 184 meters high, the Space Needle is taller than 100 astronauts. One. The Space Needle was designed to be super strong in case of earthquakes. A few years ago, a big earthquake shook it so much that all of the water sloshed out of the toilet. But the building was just fine. Shake, rattle, and toilet roll. Awesome! Whoa, excuse me. I guess that means it's lunchtime. I don't think that's your stomach rumbling, Cayenne. Oh, it's an earthquake. <sighs> Not cool. It's okay, everyone. The Space Needle is built to withstand earthquakes. Oh, it's not an earthquake, Lars. Look! Ubercorn, we have a problem. <gasps> Somebody's fitted rocket boosters to the observation deck, go jetters. Rocket boosters? Awesome! Uh, I mean, not awesome. Where do they come from? Yeah. Grandmaster Glitch? <laughs> oh, crimples. Huh? Ah. <laughs> These biogas boosters are just what the Grimbler needs. Goodbye, dirty smoke. Hello, clean, smooth ride. My Grimbler's already the smoothest ride in the world. Grimbles. <laughs> Thank you, Grimbots. <laughs> Imagine how fast the Grimbler will go now! <laughs> Maybe even faster than the Vroomster? <gasps> I love it! Well done, no jitter! Now, out of the way, my go! Grimbles! <laughs> 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 Nearly ready. Just need to fill up with more biogas. What? Well, where do I get this bio watch it? I thought you'd never ask, Glitch. You're on dinner duty. What? Huh? Let me explain with a feast of funky facts. Ow! Funky facts! Funky facts! The Academy is where it's at. With Ubercorn, Funky Top Three. When food wastes like lunchtime leftovers rots and goes all mushy, it gives off a gas. This is called biogas. Biogas has many uses, including heating, lighting, and cooking. So it's a clever way that food waste can help to make even more food. Now that's recycling. Biogas energy is cleaner energy. When vehicles like the Grimbler swap old engines for biogas engines, it's better for the air and great news for our planet. <laughs> Here it comes, Zuli! Hello! Prepare to winch. Ah! It's not oil. It's octopus ink. Lars, stop the winch. Huh? Octopus ink? <laughs> well, in that case, maybe that rusty wreck isn't such bad news for the reef after all. What do you mean, Ubercorn? I think it's part of the reef. 
Let's take a deep dive into some funky facts. Ow! Funky facts, funky facts. The Academy is where it's at. With Rubicon's Funky Top 3. A reef is a collection of coral where millions of different sea creatures live, just like the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Two. Sometimes even man-made objects like shipwrecks can become an artificial reef. One. These can provide a home to all sorts of sea life. And as long as the wrecked submarine isn't leaking oil, it's all good. Funky facts. Glitches submarine plus a long, long time equals home to that octopus and lots of fishy friends. Phew. Glad we didn't spoil your home. Whoa, there's so much of it. And there's lots more out there. Huh? huh? Out there? Let me fill you in with some urgent funky facts. Instead of being reused or recycled, lots of plastic is just dumped into our oceans. It doesn't rot, so it never goes away and turns parts of the oceans into thick, plasticky soup. Yuck! All this plastic causes big problems for seabirds and animals that live in the oceans. They can accidentally eat it or get tangled up. One. There are several huge garbage patches in the oceans of the world, but the largest is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It's as big as a country. So all that plastic just stays there? Why doesn't someone clear it up? There's just too much of it. Surely we could do it? We did try. Once. But it was too big a job, even for the old dream team. <laughs> it's coming! It's coming! <laughs> GoJet Academy, ready to enjoy one of nature's most spectacular events? Yeah! <laughs> well, before it's here, let me make things clear with some fast and funky facts. Hit it! The Academy is where it's at. With Rubicon's Funky Top 3. Three. In space, planet Earth spins around the sun, while at the same time, the moon orbits the Earth. Two. Every so often, the moon moves between the Earth and the sun, making a huge shadow across the Earth. This is known as a solar eclipse. Looking at the sun will damage your eyes. So the only way to safely watch an eclipse is with your pinhole projectors. in the day so weird and so cool look the bats think it's night time that truly was one funky phenomena <laughs> um, hi Ron, I'm Lars, big fan of yours. Great to meet you too. Zuli tells me you're a pretty good engineer yourself. Meet the Deep Sea Challenger. All set for you to take it right to the bottom of the ocean. Cool camera! Can you take some pictures of sea creatures for me? Sure thing! I wonder what I'll find down there. <laughs> well, Lars, let me take you on a disco dive with some funky facts. Hit it! Funky facts! Funky facts! Let me tell you about the place we're at. With Rubicon, funky top, please. 
Today, you're diving nearly 11,000 meters to the bottom of the deepest trench in all the oceans, the Mariana Trench. It's so deep that even the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest, could easily fit inside. The trench gets very, very dark and is home to many unusual creatures, including the Mariana snailfish. The deeper underwater you go, the heavier water feels, pushing down on everything more and more. The deep sea Challenger submersible is built extra strong, so it won't get squashed by this powerful water pressure. You're sure it's strong? I don't want to be squashed. Relax, Lars. The deep sea Challenger is tougher than a truckster, and no matter how deep you go, I'll be with you all the way. And so will my Grimsub. Huh? <laughs> Thanks to irrigation, these will be ready to eat in just a few months. A few months? Why waste all that time messing around with drippy pipes when you can grow food with my size ray? <laughs> Which, that's not a good idea. Of course it is. Look, I can make them even bigger, too. Stop zapping that corn. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll put them back the way they were. Set to shrink and... Chicken to. Hi, where did you all go? Fine, then I'm off too. So long, Bicky! What happened? Glitch. Plus size ray equals one big problem. We have an even bigger problem, Go Jetters. The sprinklers are almost ready to go. Awesome! The corn could do with a good drink. Good for the corn, but bad for us. The water droplets will be huge. We need to find Glitch and get that size ray fast. Truckster, let's roll. Launching Truckster in three, two, one. Seatbelts. Go! Go, 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 go,